Hello everyone, this is Sunil here. In this session, we're going to be talking about how to create an object. Like, uh, we will see how to create an object in the Object Studio. So let's uh, let's get started, right? So let's just create an object. Right click, create. Now, uh, just give a name. Let's just say new object, right? So this is how you create an object. It's very very simple. So once you click on the object, just right click and bring it here right uh, let me just open the process studio here also yeah um, both I'm um, keeping it side on side so now the main difference is as you can see the uh, process studio and the object studio you will find there is there will be default two pages which will always be there right initialize and clean up here okay this process this particular pages will have their own uh, use you know in uh, I mean those things you will not see in the other uh, thing like other tool right but from the accent stage and apart from that if you see in the process studio your process is always uh, started from the main page and from the main page you go into this whatever pages you have called and then again it you come back to the main page but right you know uh, if you go to the object studio it's nothing like the main page or nothing like that all right so the it's like the process one page to other that doesn't happen right so this particular action that you're calling from the main process right so that's the thing so what is that uh, what is it like I will go into that you know the particular session how you were going into the object studio from the process studio before that if you see the difference that is there there are a couple of stages that we have in the uh, studio right that is I mean the object studio that is not available in the process studio so we have more like stages like read write navigate code wait so these five important stages which are there in the object studio that's not there in the process studio right that's a main difference these are very useful stages for the object studio uh, there are a lot of work that you will be doing on this uh, object studio obviously apart from this you will have all other stages which is already available in the object uh, studio so that's the basic difference between process and the object studio right so what exactly is the object object is like uh, it's kind of like a, a business object right it's nothing but it's actual interfacing with the application so whenever you talk about automation right you will actually be working on any of the particular uh, application to automate it right the application uh, can be of the base application the application can be uh, can be a text based application right the application can be a mainframe based application uh, can be a java based application as well can be anything right till now these are the four different type of applications that blue prism supports right so you can automate all this stuff so in order to interact with this particular actual application the blue prism uses business object so uh, you create a business object and for businesses this business object will have a lot of different accents so let's say this uh, this is the action one action two action three action four right so you can create as many accents um, in different pages as you like right create a new page you can also define your accent here and so on and accordingly you can call this action using uh, you know there is a stage called as action action stage here and in the process through this action stage you can call whatever action uh, this particular object you have created here right so the difference between um, the two things are in the process studio um, are all the businesses rules that you have as a part of your automation you'll be defining all of it in the process studio and whatever interfaces like you know whatever action whatever application specific stuff like um, th things that are getting performed will be taken care by the business studio so process studio will never talk to the application it's always business studio that will talk to the application right so it will basically do pass the value from the object studio to the process studio and from 
there you can pass the value the to the pro the process studio to the object studio and the